Today's Daily Dish is both delicious and boozy. Mika Trainer is here in the City Line Samsung Kitchen with holiday desserts that pack a little extra punch. Mm -hmm. You look so gorgeous today. Loving the box braids on you, girl. Like, Thank looks you. so good. Thanks. And I like that we're going to be having some fun with some ingredients here. We're going to do two uh, different desserts. Yep. Where'd the inspo come from for these? Well, we're starting with some eggnog matcha mousse. Okay. And I was stocking up on my teas for the winter. I saw that they had eggnog matcha. Okay. And that sounds like a dessert in itself to me. Yeah, it does. So I picked some up, and that's how this recipe came to be. Okay, so mm. you have already put together, like, what did you have in the double boiler? That was some organic eggnog. Okay. We added our eggnog matcha and then yep. some white chocolate. Yes. And normally I'm really not a white chocolate gal, yeah. but with this recipe, it's great. We're adding a little bit of bourbon, some okay. cream. Mm -hmm. So let's talk a little bit about the whole process of double boiling. Yeah. Um, so why do you do that and how does that work? So I don't have a microwave, so oh, double okay. boiler is key in my kitchen. Yes. Basically, you just want to add like an inch or two of water and heat it up, mm -hmm. and then it cooks your ingredients by steaming it. Got it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and so you get this really cool, gradual melting together of everything that looks amazing. It's great I with mean, chocolate. Listen, I've told you this, eggnog is not my favorite, so mm -hmm. if you can make me like this dessert, <laughs> Mika, you're, 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 you're good. Right? Hey, no pressure. No pressure. <laughs> so I'm going to add a little bit of a bourbon. A little goes a long way. See, I like it already. Yeah. <laughs> I'm in. <laughs> Going boozy today. Yeah. And then we'll add our cream, which I whipped with some vanilla. Nice. Is mm -hmm. there a certain way that you should do that? We're folding it in. Folding. We're folding it. It's very gentle. Yeah. Mixing it a little bit just mm -hmm. until it comes together. And you'll notice we don't have any added sugar in this recipe. Yeah. So for people who don't really have a sweet tooth, this is a good one. Okay, got it. It's, so it's not going to be overly sweet. It's not. It's barely sweet, actually. Oh, okay, it's right, kind of like It's kind of like a stiff drink vibe for desserts. Oh, you know what I mean? nice. Yeah. Even with all that white chocolate? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because the bourbon is strong, the eggnog is strong, and yeah. matcha is quite bitter and on its own. Absolutely. Okay. So now we're just going to pour this in our little coupe glasses. And I like that this is a really fancy way to do a dessert as well. Pull out all those glasses you maybe don't use from Monday to Friday that, uh, you know, you can pull out now and put a dessert in. Exactly. The gold rim on the coupes make them look so fancy. We're so fancy today. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you just want to put these in the fridge for like two to four hours. Okay. Is it because you're making it into is it like more like a pudding consistency? So we want it to be a mousse. So mousse. it's just like putting in the fridge will set the cream and yeah. like uh, get all the flavors mixed together. You can give this one a try. Okay, the moment of truth, everyone. <laughs> Let me just take a little bit. Oh, that's very good. Yeah. I and mean, I have a major sweet tooth, but oh my gosh, I'm getting tipsy. <laughs> right? It's yes. strong. I warned you. It's a bit strong, though. <laughs> I'll just put this aside for later. <laughs> you can keep that one. We have another one, and this yeah. is a brownie, but what makes this brownie special? Well, I heard that you really like brownies, so I, I, thought, we would, I thought we'd do it today with a bit of a twist. Okay. So we're going to do Bailey's brownies with peppermint and caramel. Okay. Yeah, this one is good. <laughs> All right, what do you need me to do? So you, there's some flour, cocoa powder, and salt if you want to mix that together. Mm -hmm. I melted some butter and chocolate. Okay. Adding two cups of sugar. We'll talk about nutrition in January. Whatever. <laughs> it looks like so much when you see it go in there, but mm -hmm. it is a dessert. I mean, It's a dessert. It's yeah. fine. It's not breakfast, or maybe it is. Whatever. <laughs> you don't judge it's around the here. It's the holidays. Then we're going to add our eggs and vanilla. Nice. And of course, some Baileys. Oh my gosh, so good. So like most recipes, you put all of the wet together. Mm -hmm. All the wet together, all the dry together, and then once they're mm. good on their own, we'll combine them. See, this is what why I love a brownie. To me, it's like a cookie and a cake mm -hmm. got married. Mm -hmm. These ones and are like they created a brownie, <laughs> like the most yeah. perfect little child. Like it's dense and mm. it's like chocolatey and yeah, dense. I really like chocolate. Tea's <laughs> laughing because I'm ridiculous, but that's what like I love it so much. The keyword is dense. Like you'll it's notice, dense. this recipe doesn't have any baking powder or baking. Yeah, don't all pour that it? in. Yeah, all of it. It's not gonna leaven like a cake. Yeah. So we'll be on the fudgier side. That's okay. Be quiet. That's all right. <laughs> they can see I didn't mix it properly. I was doing a television mix. I'm just a 
to be like a real baking thing. <laughs> we're really baking these none today. Of the, none of the ingredients were together at all in the dry. I'm really sorry, Mika. If it just doesn't dump turn it out, in. it's all good. But if it doesn't turn out, I'm still going to eat it, just so you know. Oh, okay. yeah, me too. Mm -hmm. And then do we have final? We have final, yeah. Show me the final, girl. <laughs> Show me the final. Because, so listen, we, if we try and bake these, they're not going to turn out. I didn't mix my stuff <laughs> properly. Here are some we made earlier, and we okay. also whipped up some Bailey's caramel. Okay. And we're just going to drizzle this on. So to make your own caramel at home, you just want to melt some sugar and water over the stove. And then <laughs> once it turns into a dark yellow, you add some Bailey's and butter, and it turns into this, like, nice butterscotchy flavor. Oh, some crushed candy canes. Amazing, super fun, boozy desserts, Mika. For all the recipes, go to CityLine.tv.